talented men practicing comedy today. He is, uh, well, let's take a look at some of his work from the uh, most recent season of Saturday Night Live. Folks, watch the monitors. continues with Dr. Joyce Brothers and Robin Williams. We're back. Oh, back. Like the back of my hand. Don't end me, Miss Crawford. I never touched your eyebrow pencil. Oh, John Crawford, she's wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, how is that from Jade and Alley. Allie, you eat these biscuits before they get cold. I've slaved over them all day and you haven't eaten a lot. For magic is the spirit of illusion. <laughs> An illusion can be... Tomorrow is my triangle lesson. And to be on the chair with two hard and decent, you know. Right, folks, please welcome Martin Short. Hello. Martin Short, Elaine Siegel. Elaine? It's lovely to meet you. Good it's, to see you again. Is this like a balcony scene? You know, she was endorsed by Rabbi Kleinman. I didn't know that. That's a very, very nice girl to be up there all throughout. Yes, it is. Nice to see you nice again. See you're, you, just, uh, you're just back from vacation. Where, yeah. do, where does a major uh, star like yourself go on vacation? I went to Jamaica Month. Mm -hmm. I was two weeks in Jamaica Month. Did you enjoy that? Well, I, I wasn't there long enough to pick up the accent. <laughs> but I was uh, there for uh, just resting and, and uh, visiting friends at a... The friends of mine were doing a movie mm -hmm. there. Who were the friends? Well, Robin Williams and Peter... Well, not Peter O'Toole. I don't know Pete. But, uh, <laughs> although I didn't meet him, I, I went up to Pete, and I, I Pete, Again. I went up to Mr. O'Toole, yeah. and I said, uh, you know, just a pleasure to meet you, I've admired you my whole life, you're such a major star, mm -hmm. and, and he said, uh, oh, aren't you, aren't you sweet, be a dear and find out what happened to that coffee, would you? <laughs> <laughs> So you got the feeling he really wasn't sure who he was. Well, I don't know. I mean, we exchanged addresses. There, there was a promise of letter writing, but I'm not going to write. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but also, Eugene Levy was in this film, and, and Joe Flaherty, and, and uh, Andrew Martin. And, and you mentioned Robin Williams was there, but he wasn't on vacation. He was working in the film, right? Yes, Robin was working yeah, It's hard film. for me to imagine Robin Williams taking a vacation. Well, there were days when, you know, you, there, there were Sundays off, and you'd see Robin mm -hmm. kind of on a surfboard. Oh, Martin, look at me. I'm, I'm sailing. Oh, sail, sail like, sail at Macy's, oh, the concept, yeah. we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Robin is, is <laughs> Robin, yeah, Robin isn't uh, a laid-back guy, even when resting. Yeah. But uh, we were staying in this beautiful hotel, the Trident Hotel, which was uh, kind of a 30s overhead fan thing, and the feeling that, I mean, Noel Coward supposedly had spent a lot of time there, a lot of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in fact, on quiet nights, you could almost... If you listen carefully enough, mm -hmm. you're know saying, find out the name of the tall one. I mean, <laughs> what I'm saying is that it, I mean, wicker, a lot of wicker. Yeah, a lot of wicker, I mean, ceiling so. fans, a lot of uh, stucco, white or pink stucco, that kind of thing. Well, in Noel's room, we didn't see that, room, mm -hmm. but in uh, my room, it was white stucco. Yeah. And uh, it was very, very, we had a great time. Which, uh, uh, which of the, the folks that you did on your show, Saturday Night Live, over the year, did you, uh, I, know, I know the answer to this already, because when we played the tape, Ed Grimley got the biggest response. Yeah, well, Ed, Ed <laughs> well, what got funny is that midway through the year, I started getting a lot of letters from people who were um, uh, doing Ed's hairdo. They would send pictures. In fact, I got, I brought, I sent, this is from Littleton, Colorado. Andrew Whippy. Andrew sent me some pictures here. Right there. you can just, uh... This is Andrew, a viewer doing uh, his... Yeah, it's just, uh... <laughs> It looks like he's, he's, he's done it up special for the holidays, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Is this, let's see this one. What is, what is Andrew doing here? Yeah, well, <laughs> you, can, you can really, you can really <laughs> take your pick. But I got a, I got a picture from a, a priest with his hair up. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, he had the white collar and the black, and it just the notion of him in the confession of this was frightening. <laughs> you must... Relieve yourself of your sins, for to have sins are far from decent among us. I'm not making you go mental. I mean, just <laughs> the, notion, the notion of that is a little mind-boggling. Uh, let me show you one more picture of Andrew here, and then we'll see if we can't uh, talk his parents into having him checked. <laughs> there he is. 
Yeah. <laughs> We have to do a commercial. We'll be uh, right back here with Martin Short. On Martin Short is here. That's uh, Elaine Siegel. She's leaving us soon, and it's our idea of a little joke there for her. Um, uh, do, do you hear from a lot of folks who you uh, did impressions of? Did you ever hear from uh, Catherine Hepburn? Or, uh... No, Kate never called. I expected some sort of uh, communication <laughs> through a telegram. <laughs> um, but she's not uh, a television watch, I suppose. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> some people, David Steinberg was pleased when I did him. Mm -hmm. well, you're, you're old friends with David yeah. Steinberg, aren't you? Yeah, in fact, that's when we first met, you know. A long time ago in Toronto. But, right. A lot of well, fun. Kind of have to darken. Yeah. He, he said that he got a call from his aunt in Winnipeg, and he said to me, he said, she was convinced that it was me when I was when I said on SCTV. She said she was convinced of me. She said, why don't you phone me? It was amazing that you wouldn't contact me. Whenever you were working with Johnny and Doc, you always contact me. <laughs> 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 and so she would not believe that it wasn't. Here. What about uh, uh, Jerry Lewis? What, uh, Jerry? No, I haven't heard from Jerry. Yeah. Uh, but, but I mean, well. See, certain people you do, you take liberties with, and I think that, uh, I don't, I mean, you hate to think that you offend anybody, because you're just trying to get a, a laugh. Well, that's half the fun of it, though. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, like, when I do Jerry's laugh, I always uh, feel that I have to have him eating a lozenge for some reason. Mm -hmm. well, he might take offense. No, because <laughs> no, I mean, when Jerry talks seriously, it's a, it, there's a feeling of something, because of, there's a lot of uh, giving in what we do, uh -huh. and what, if you think that's, it's easy what he does, then you're completely mistaken because you got to sit back there. <laughs> and when he does the, the laugh, which is kind of like a, a, a plum pudding bubbling. You know? <laughs> 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 oh, lozenge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need that lozenge? Yes, that the lozenge you yeah. can't do it without the lozenge. You can't finish the bit without no, the lozenge. No. Uh, we're going to take a look at some uh, videotape here. What, what are we looking at here? This is another, this is not an impersonation, but a character, this an is, original character. This is an know. original character. Tell them who this is. This is uh, a character, uh, a piece, 60 Minutes uh, takeoff we did, uh, written by Christopher Guest, Billy Crystal, Harry Shearer, and I, mm -hmm. where uh, Harry Shearer plays Mike Wallace investigating uh, uh, the illegal influx of. Uh, uh, like joke gag, counterfeit joke gag articles mm -hmm. that are uh, not, the items. Yeah, yeah. not supposed to be in the, in the American market. Whoopee cushions that explode, mm -hmm. they're faulty. Yeah. Yeah. Ma noses that leave bad rashes for months. And it turns out to be a uh, Chinese businessman who's done it named Pingy Lee. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pingy won't speak to Mike Wallace, but uh, his very defensive attorney, Nathan Thurm, does speak so to him. So this will be Nathan, Nathan Thurm. Nathan Thurm, okay. <laughs> Nathan Thurm on uh, 60 Minutes. Uh, watch the monitor. Elaine, can you see a monitor up there? I can. Okay, good. <laughs> That's terrific. What now? Are you uh, are you going to be on uh, the show uh, this fall? Coming back for another season? I don't know. I, it, there's a lot of uh, a lot of what? Let's straighten it out right here. What's a lot of what? <laughs> there's a lot of things that aren't. Uh, I don't know. You know, are, are you going to be here? Three years from now, let's say. Oh, Jesus. Four years from now, will you be behind this desk? But I'm not saying four years. I'm just saying next fall the show will be back on and everybody tunes in to see Ed Grimley and Nathan Thurm and so on and so forth and we'll, we'll want to see you now. You, are you going to be there? Depends on the money. Well... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not true. No, I, I, actually, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know who's involved in uh, the cast, you know. I yeah. mean... Uh, other, yeah. other circumstances and... Yeah. Well, I hope it works out, and I know that everybody who enjoys your work hope it works out. And uh, it, it, uh, it uh, would be a shame if there was a show that you weren't on. What a nice, uh, nice yeah, but that didn't sound that. right, did it? No, well, but you know what I'm saying. From the heart, it was beautiful. All right. Yeah. Uh, have have a good summer. Thank you, David. Nice to see you again, Martin. Thank you. We uh, have to go here for state identification. We'll be right back. Please.